Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brie if you are new here and in today's video I honestly just really want to do like a classic matte neutrals look. I just want to hang out, do a little makeup, do a classic matte neutral look, show you guys kind of some maybe basic techniques that I maybe have learned while getting certified and yeah just do a pretty classic matte neutral look. I don't do a lot of those on my channel so I figured why not you know so if you guys want to hang out and do a little classic matte neutral look how many times am i going to say that in this intro then just keep on watching okay so i already went ahead and primed my eyes set my brow bone and today i'm going to go in with my absolute favorite neutrals palette which is the ColourPop gone matte palette so if you have a palette similar to this or you have this palette and you're wanting to follow along but say maybe you want to go cool or pink or warm versus whichever one I choose to go in, you can pretty much follow along because this palette's awesome. It's got like the same tones of light all the way down to dark in gradients and stripes. I love that about this palette. It makes it super simple. But for today, I'm actually going to keep it super middle of the road. I want to keep it as neutral as possible. So I'm going to go with this row right here. And I'm gonna start out with a small crease brush. It's about that size right there. And I'm gonna go into this bottom shade, Sleepwalker, and start building that up on my outer corner. Actually, no, I'm not gonna use this brush. I'm gonna use a different brush. I'm gonna use this brush instead. It's a little bit bigger, but it's actually more densely packed and it's a little bit flatter. Yes, it's dirty, but it's dirty with a brown, so um, it'll be fine. But. Take a little bit of Sleepwalker. I'm gonna start pressing that onto my outer corner, kind of in an upwards shape. Not super dramatic, we're not going with like a wing situation. I just wanna give the eye a little bit of a lift. And then I'm gonna kinda of take whatever's left on my brush and just start to go over into the crease, but not too much. Kind of creating like almost a backwards C or like a backwards V on my lid. I'm gonna stop that in the crease, probably about right aligned with my pupil. So going out at an angle, stopping the bottom part of it right at just about where the like iris starts. And then slowly taking whatever's left and going over. And I can always come back later and re-intensify that if needed. Now I'm gonna go into that brush that I was originally holding. And I'm gonna go jump up a shade and I'm gonna go up into the shade Ultra Suede. And I'm going to use this to finish off defining my crease and also blend out kind of above that dark. Making sure I'm also blending this little spot on my lid as well. And then I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush and I'm gonna go into this shade right here, the Cuddles, and use that to finish blending out my transition. So I'm applying this mainly where I want it to and then with really nothing much left on the brush, I'm kind of going over everything just to make sure everything's really nice and smooth. And I can see there's a spot right here that's struggling to blend and I can fix that after the fact. And then I'm going to take my brow setting powder or my brow brush, I'm going to dip into one of these lighter shades run this over the top and also kind of over that space that was really struggling to blend because as I said earlier I can always go back in and re-intensify whatever I need and if you are finding that you are regularly having a hard time blending shadows like you're having those spots that are sticking and not wanting to blend then I would recommend honestly setting your entire lid with powder after you've done your um whatever primer concealer whatever you're putting down I would recommend setting your entire lid 
and then applying eyeshadow. It's just gonna kind of give it a smoother base. I like a tacky base personally, but it's definitely something you kind of have to work up to if you're a beginner. And then last but not least, before I go in and re-intensify everything, I wanna put a shade on my lid. And rather than going up the same row, I want actually something a little bit brighter. So I'm gonna go into the shade right here, which is Eurofo. And I'm gonna use a flat brush to do that. I'm just gonna load this brush up and pack this on the open space on my lid and just really brighten up that lid. It's not really gonna matter too much how far you take it over because like I said, I'm gonna go back in and brighten it up or blend. I'm gonna go back in and re-intensify these darker shades. I don't know how he's still gardening. I swear to God, they started right outside of the apartment at 7.30 this fucking morning. It's insane. I'm gonna go re-intensify everything, fix everything up, I'll be right back. Like I get that he's just doing his job and I appreciate everything that they do and I appreciate that they make the property look really nice but like the neurodivergent side of me just really, really, really fucking hates loud, repetitive sounds. It just, it's so grating to me. Um, I'm gonna go put on a little bit of a wing and put on my base and I will be right back. Okay, there's only so much makeup I can do off camera <laughs> before I'm just basically not filming a video anymore. So I'm going to continue on. I am so sorry. So since he was literally right there, I kind of just kept going. Um, I will link the two videos from last month that kind of went a little bit more in depth on what I did. So for my base, I actually underpainted and I used the Makeup Revolution Cream Bronzer, Ultra Cream Bronzer in light. And I did a little bit of underpainting and everything like that. And then when I applied my foundation and my concealer, I actually used another technique from last month that I've been kind of working on. And that was, I applied it with a powder puff. So all of that is on. Once my base was on, I went in with the About Face Cheek Freak Cream Blush in the shade Cowgirl, and that's where we're at. I'm gonna do my powder products on camera with you guys, but I'm just gonna play some nice music and just move on. So for powder blush, I'm gonna use the Flower Beauty Flower Pots Blush in the shade Spice Petal. Powder bronzer, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Bronzer. I'll, I'll show you guys that in a little bit, yeah. Is he done? I don't know. Here's fucking hoping. I did it with you guys on camera. So even though I don't typically do it with you guys on camera, I don't typically show it. Uh, I'm gonna tell you guys what powders I put on my face because it actually looks quite nice today except this one little piece of lint that's stuck to my face. Um, for my under eyes, I use the Essence 16 hour cover and last powder foundation. And then on my like pore area, I used the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Press Powder. And for the rest of my face, I used the Superstay, a Maybelline Superstay Hybrid Powder Foundation. And I, I guess I'm just gonna continue on and hope that he's done and hope that maybe 
possibly this video will still be usable. Who's to fucking say, honestly. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit of, cause I'm very matte right now. Maybe he just missed a spot. Maybe he missed a spot and he's done. I'm gonna put on a, a little bit of glowy blush, do my under eyes, some highlight. I'll tell you guys what I use after the fact. figured it out they're shaping the bushes really quick for my glowy blush I use the Milani baked blush in the shade Bellissimo bronze and then for my highlight I used the NYX born to glow oh it just broke uh, the NYX born to glow duo this one is in the shade platinum status and diamond chains I'm gonna go finish up the rest of my face which I already do off camera so that's beautiful hopefully they're gonna be fucking good. you watch you fuck it. I already know what's gonna happen. They're not gonna do it the entire time I'm finishing my makeup and then the second I come back to wrap up this video. I'm really not trying to be a bitch here. I'm just very overstimulated by the noises. I'm gonna go finish up the rest of my face. I'll be right back. I mean, at least my makeup looks good. <laughs> um, for my lips, I used the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution lipstick in the shade Pillow Talk. And this is the final look. I mean, it all came together in the end. Um, you know, it's one of those things. It's like, if I didn't have 17,000 other things to do today, I would have probably just sat and waited, like just maybe, I don't know, gone up and cleaned the house or something like that and waited until they were done to be able to continue filming. But like, I literally did not have the time to do that today. So I am so excited to hear this footage back and find out that it's basically useless. Um, hopefully it's not. Hopefully I can make it work in some way. Hopefully, despite how loud it was for me, it's not actually wasn't picking up that much on the camera. So the parts that I did speak weren't just overwhelmed by the sound of uh, bush shaping. And again, really wasn't trying to be a bitch throughout this video. I really wasn't. It's just, it was a very overstimulating situation for me. And I can, uh, I can understand that maybe that was probably a point in which I should have just pulled away and said, I'm not going to film this video today, but I was already in it. And like I said, I already had other things to do today. So I already needed to finish my makeup. And um, when you only have so many days off in a week and you're trying to put out content while also having another, you know, full-time job on top of that, you got to do what you got to do with the time that you have off. So I was really trying to um, stay on top and hopefully I don't have to refilm this video. I'm really hoping because my makeup does look really good. It looks really, really good today, actually. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna wrap up this video. <laughs> Again, I am so sorry that this video was kind of all over the place and a little bit weird. I'm not the hugest fan of filming um, voiceovers, doing voiceovers in general. I feel like it doesn't, it doesn't flow as naturally. Not that me going, I'm just gonna stop talking and just speed you guys through this content is, uh, a natural flow by any stretch of the imagination either but i'm just not a big fan of voiceovers in general i don't like watching them so i don't want to put them out there um i like to put out content that i i enjoy so why would i put out a style of content that i don't enjoy um and that's why i didn't just do a voiceover instead also it's a little bit weird when you start out talking and then switch over to a voiceover i'm done i'm done bitching i'm done complaining 
I'm gonna go run some errands, maybe get some french fries, be not as overstimulated, kind of come down from that, and uh, yeah. Uh, real quick, I know I said at the beginning of this video that uh, I wanted to like kind of maybe go over some fun things that I learned doing my certification and um, you know, talk about some tips and tricks. I do have a couple other videos planned that I'm going to go more in depth about eyeshadow application tips. Um, I, I will have videos in the future where I do talk a little bit more in depth and actually do a better job. I'll do a better job in the future. <laughs> Please subscribe if you have not already. It would mean the world to me. Like this video, ring the bell, do all the things. Comment down below and let me know how you feel about bush shaping. I would love to hear your thoughts. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Bye. <laughs>